Hi everyone, welcome to today's video where we're going to have a quick chat about NDI. Now it's been about 12 months since NDI has been released, so it's been a year since these guys were talking about the future of NDI and live video production. So let's talk about the future. So for those that don't know, NDI stands for Network Device Interface, and it's a protocol that's been developed by NewTek that allows you to send and receive high quality, low latency video over a local network. So instead of using uh, SDI, HDMI, and a capture device, you can now send and receive video over a local network. So vMix has supported it since day one with full implementation for sending and receiving sources. So it's been really good. Now, over the past 12 months, we've taken a look at how people have been using NDI in their video production. So today we're going to look at the four main ways that people have been using it. So firstly, people have been using it for desktop capture. Now vMix has an inbuilt desktop capture program that allows you to capture the desktop of any computer and send it to your live video production. Now vMix also has a standalone product, uh, a free desktop capture program that you can install onto any computer and then send that over the local network via NDI into your vMix production. So it means that someone that might be doing a presentation, like a lecture, and they want to share their screen with everybody, you can just install that program and send it over the local network. It's also really good for video games, so you can send a game from a computer to, a, uh, to the, the live video production, which has been really good. So that's the first main way that people have been using it. Secondly, people have been using NDI to send their output to another computer or multiple computers. Now this is good for breaking up your production. Now typically we recommend that you know you use one PC, you know, stream, produce, record, everything all on the one PC, but sometimes that's just not possible. So people might have an older computer and they want to just do the production on one computer, but then do the streaming and the recording on a second or even third computer. So you can send out the video from vMix to another computer to do that. So that's one of the things you can do with NDI, which is great. So when we did our live uh, 4K show, what we did is we did all the production on one computer. And because 4K is so intensive, we didn't want to do the recording and streaming on the same computer. So what we did is via NDI, we just sent the output to a second computer and did all the production, uh, sorry, all the streaming and recording on that second computer. So that's another way to, to use NDI. The third main way that people have been using vMix and NDI is with uh, graphics generators or live animated titling. So there are plenty of programs out there now that support NDI. So you can have somebody doing live animated titling on a second computer and send that directly into your vMix production so you can have really cool graphics. Now things like Casper CG, New Blue Titler Broadcast, Characterworks, Pro Presenter, um, Chiron, Adobe Premiere and After Effects all support NDI, and I'm sure there's probably more that I've forgotten as well. So I'm going to show a really quick example of how to do that. So on this computer here, I've got just Premiere Pro, and I can play out live um, lower third. So what I'm going to do is I'm just hit play here, and that's going to bring in live graphics. So that's really simple and a really easy way to bring in awesome graphics to your video production over the local network. Now, the last main way people have been using it is with the NDI cam or the NDI app on your phone. So you can bring in a mobile camera or a tablet's camera into a live video production via NDI, which has been really good. So those are just kind of the four main ways that people have been using that we've noticed. There are heaps of different ways to use it. There's been so many different examples of really unique implementations of NDI and vMix in your live video production. So... Uh, New Tech themselves offer a whole lot of different tools that you can use with NDI. Some of them include the NDI video monitor, and you can install that to your computer and you can see any video sources on your network. So you can use it in ways like install it to a computer to, in order to monitor video from vMix. So you can have it set up on a se second computer and someone could be watching that like a, a commentator or someone could be watching the output on a separate computer. Um, they also offer an ISO recorder, which allows you to record NDI sources. So they have a free one that you can record two different NDI sources on. So you could send the output or a camera from vMix uh, to the program and then record it on a separate computer. They have a pro version as well, which allows you to record more also. Now I'm going to quickly show you how to set up NDI in your vMix production, just to give you a quick example. So I'm just going to go to add input and then go to the NDI section. And as you can see here, these are all the computers on our local network that have a, an NDI source. So you can see my uh, Alienware laptop here, which has Adobe Premiere Pro and the integrated webcam set up in vMix. So I've got a webcam running in vMix, as you can see here. 
I can say, hi, how's it going? So this is bringing in a separate uh, camera, as you can see, over the network on a separate computer to this video production. So I can start using other sources in this live production. I can change that if I right click on it, I can switch to another camera. So this camera is actually running on my office PC, as you can see here. So that's, that's collecting all of these different sources from different computers in our office here. So there's a whole lot of different, um, so we've got a second, another computer running, another video. So as you can imagine here, we have a lot of different videos, um, a lot of vMix installations for testing and that type of thing. So it's really good for us to be able to, to bring across uh, videos from all different locations and use it for testing. So I can show, I can say to Martin, hey, check out this video, check out this title, and I can actually send it to his vMix production over the local network. So those are different ways that you can kind of add it. Now we'll take a quick look at how to send NDI sources. So if we go to the external settings down here, you'll see down the bottom uh, what we're going to send via NDI. So we can send the output, we can send external to, which is what I've got selected today, which means I'm actually sending the external to to my work computer and I'm recording the desktop capture right now using external to. That's another way to use it. Um, so you can also send cameras, calls, audio inputs, which is great to be able to send different sources to other computers or other encoders or anywhere you want. Um, and then also audio outputs as well. So this is where you set up what you're sending via vMix. Okay, so those are just some examples on how to use vMix and how to set it up. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to let us know. If you need more information about NDI, you can go to ndi.newtech.com and you'll be able to see all the information there from NewTek themselves. If you want to know about the vMix uh, implementation of, of NDI, you can go to vmix.com slash NDI for all that information. Now, if you have any questions about NDI, feel free to send us an email via our website. Um, People are using it in all different ways and it's just up to your imagination to kind of how you're going to use NDI in your live video production. Um, and we'll probably see in the future all different kinds of ways to use it. We don't have a converter for HDMI, SDI to NDI yet. However, there should be one out very shortly, I'm sure. Um, and we also don't have an NDI camera yet. Um, so hopefully if, if there's any camera manufacturers out there listening, please make an NDI camera. That would be awesome to be able to just add a camera to your network and be able to start using video over the network and not have to use capture devices and that type of thing. So yeah, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Do you have, if you have any creative ways that you're using NDI, uh, feel free to leave the comment below. We're always interested to see how people are using it. And um, so thanks for watching today and um, see you later. Click to watch another exciting vMix tutorial.